Just save your money, guys. Hey, it's Austin from The Student Aroma here. Let's jump right into this review of the five cheap fragrances that I wish I never would have purchased. I'm gonna describe their smell and performance and let you know why you don't need them. First up is Calvin Klein Eternity for Men EDP. This opens aromatic and fresh with green chords. As we head into the mid and the base, it gets greener and greener with aromatics. And then into the base, there is a significant dose of cifra oil. And if you don't know what cifra oil is, it is an intense greenness that is extremely decisive. The performance, only about six hours on the skin with moderate projection. I will give it the uh, benefit of the doubt in the projection. It does push out pretty well for the first two hours, but after this period, it recedes closer to the skin, but never becomes a skin scent. As for seasons and occasions, this is spring, summer, and fall. It doesn't have the depth to last in the cooler temperatures. And occasions, it is all, but I wouldn't wear it in the office or casual wear as it can be quite piercing. And this leads to me why you don't need it. This cifra oil note is not for everybody. And this is the most expensive fragrance on this list. Even on discounters, it's about $50. This is more expensive than many of you guys may want to buy. And I just really don't recommend this fragrance. Of all fragrances on this list, do not get Calvin Klein Attorney for Men EDP. Next up is Nautica Blue EDT. This opens with fresh, bright florals and some slightly fruity nuances. As we head into the mid, the fruity nuances fade, but you still have that very clean and fresh floral aroma that keeps this fragrance light and refreshing. In the mid, there is a um, heavy dose of synthetics, and this just comes from the affordability of this price, but also it's low quality. When you have a fragrance that's less than $20, you just can't use the highest quality ingredients, and it's really shown here after about 15 to 20 minutes. And then into the mid, you do get a warmer wood base with those fresh florals from before. It is still a masculine fragrance, but it is just a very fresh, simple, and synthetic scent. So performance, four to five hours on the skin with light projection. I might get one to two feet for the first half an hour before it recedes and becomes a skin scent. And as for seasons and occasion, there's no depth to this fragrance, so it is exclusively spring and summer. And occasions, it's only casual wear because there's nothing about this scent that really stands out. So Nautica Blue EDT, I do enjoy what the perfumer was trying to do here, and I will give it a slight plus one in its uniqueness, as I do like the florals with the woody base in the end, but this is just so synthetic that I just can't stand it and honestly just makes me nauseous. Next up is Tommy Bahama St. Bart's. This opens with a bright citric lime note that really grabs attention. It is a great addition to the boozy tequila and aquatic backbone. As we head into the mid, it is a very fresh scent. The booziness of the tequila is dissipating. There is the addition of prominent green notes and the aquatic notes from before are becoming salty oceanic notes. The, more, the larger emphasis is on the salty notes than it is on the water notes. And then into the base after about an hour, the scent stays pretty similar, except the booziness of the tequila is virtually gone. And there are the additions of warm musk. So for the rest of the way, you get warm musk, salty oceanics, and greens. The performance is four to five hours on the skin with light to intimate projection, just like Nautica Blue. It pushes out one to two feet for the first half an hour and then recedes to become a skin scent. Seasons and occasions, this is exclusively summer wear. There is no depth to this fragrance to push out in any type of cool or cold weather, like even late spring or early fall. Occasions, I would reserve this for casual situations. There's just nothing that sticks out about this that you would wanna wear at dates or uh, special events. So why is St. Bart's on this list? I do appreciate the booziness in the beginning, but the syntheticness, just like Nautica Blue, is very off-putting and the performance is just not there. Even though it is $20, it is just simply not worth it. Another fresh fragrance that is very typical of a summer focus scent. Azorochrome has a very pungent citric opening with some fresh aromatics lingering in the background. As we head into the mid, you still have this freshness. And then into the base, you're gonna get an addition of light woods and some musk nuances. There's still the fresh accents from before, but this is a very subtle fragrance. The longevity is only about five to six hours. 
with light projection, the same as the two fragrances before this. They, it, the Zora Chrome only pushes out about one to two feet for the first half an hour before receding and becoming a skin scent. I exclusively late spring and summer wear. This really needs to be warmer temperatures to help it project in occasions. You can wear this for all, but I would recommend just saving it for casual as it's, there's nothing about this scent that is gonna make it stand out above many other fragrances. So why is Azora Chrome on this list? The first 15 to 20 minutes while the opening notes are developing, there is a horrible hairspray smell. It makes me think of when you spray big sexy hairspray in the air and then you walk into it. That is exactly what this smells like. And it's extremely off-putting. And then the rest of the fragrance is just synthetic anyways. Before I blind bought this, I really wanted to enjoy it as it is an Azora fragrance, but it is just not for me and it's not a great choice for you. Lastly, Burberry for Men EDT. This opens with bright aromatics, a spicy tinge for mint, and some lavender nuances with an old school aroma. The overarching emphasis in the beginning is fresh. After about 10 to 15 minutes, the lavender becomes powdery, and then into the mid, there is the addition of dry oak moss and warm cedar that give the fragrance a nice depth and help break up the fresh aromatics and just diversify the scent character. And then into the base, after about an hour or two, there is the addition of amber and musk, and you still have some of the notes from before. So the rest of the wear is gonna be fresh aromatics, musk, amber, and dry oak moss. And then the performance, six hours on the skin with light projection. It'll only push out up to two feet for the first hour before receding and becoming a skin scent. The versatility fares slightly better as it can be worn for all seasons except the hottest days of summer and the coldest days of winter in all occasions. This does have enough of a sophisticated aroma that it can work for formal events and dates, but it is also subtle that it can work for casual and office wear without overwhelming anyone. So why did Burberry for Men EDT make this list? It is just an old school fragrance that is not for everybody and the quality and affordability are only decent. It is just kind of average in everything it does. And that's why I just don't think that this is a must have in any collection. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.